Oh, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. I guess today I'll bring you an update on my beta harem. As you can tell, something's a bit different in here. My male's fins are not as elaborate as they used to be. And that just has to do with something that happened a few days ago, actually. He, um... Basically, these guys, they kept trying to reestablish a pecking order. Originally, he had this half of the tank all to himself, and the females got this side. But for some reason, they seemed to want to resort and redistribute territories, and the male kind of got torn up more, and some of the females also lost some of their finish, like this one here. But as you can tell, they're actually healing quite well, and they have stopped physically binding each other. Instead, there's just chasing and stuff. And right now, there's actually quite a bit of chasing going on, partially because I just fed them, and they hadn't been fed all day, because uh, usually on Sundays, I don't feed the fish for... I give them a 24-hour gap between their last meal on Sunday, between their previous meal from the previous day. So on Sunday, I won't feed them until 8 o'clock, until I get fed once on Sunday, unlike uh, most of our days where I feed them twice. So he's acting up a bit just because they haven't... they just got fed. You know, it's going to be lights out time soon anyway. So, um, all these plants in here are doing alright, except these, um, Hygrophila polysperma. The polysperma, they seem to have melted completely, and originally I thought they were dead, but then I noticed something was, the stalk that was left behind, it always stayed green, and you probably won't be able to see it on this camera, but the stalks are growing new heads. So, um, I've never seen any type of Hygrophila do that before, I have had Temple Plant and, uh, Hygrophila deformes like this, and they've never done anything like that. So, if any of you guys have had your Hygrophila polysporma do this to you, can you please tell me about? Because I'd like to know a bit more about that. And one plant that I'm kind of disappointed in here is this Java Fern. It's also shedding leaves quite a bit, but the thing is, it's growing some new leaves, like right there, you can kind of see it. It's growing some new leaves and shedding the old ones. And one thing I know about Java Ferns is they grow very, very slow. Especially when you're me. When you're me, jaw ferns just don't grow fast for you. So, um, like this fern right here, this fern is about six months old. And the dried up dying fern back there is years old, actually. I'm not even sure how old it is. But then this little baby here, which I also broke off, is also six months old. So I don't know what determines their growth rate entirely. But there's one guy named Amano, and he just knows how to grow jaw fern like crazy. So, um, and here's, of course, is the newer beta. The male, uh, dragon scale, plaquette, or I, or I think he might be in half moon, I'm not sure. There's a whole bunch of different plaquette tail types, actually. So, um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And, um, one thing that me and my buddy were planning on doing was we're going to try and cross a male beta, well, not a male beta, a female beta with a male paradise fish. And normally I'd be against making hybrids, but this is one that kind of uh, intrigues me from a scientific standpoint. Is I keep hearing all these rumors and stuff, and I just want to verify it, if it's possible or not, to actually breed the two species. Like, actually make them produce viable offspring or anything like that. Because I've looked up the chromosome counts, and the chromosome counts would determine that the offspring be sterile. Because one's got like 48, the beta's got like 48, and I think the paradise fish is like 56, or something like that. So, um... We might attempt that next semester. We're probably going to use one of these females, and my buddy will get the male paradise fish. And we just want to see if it actually produces the viable offspring or not. So, um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.